respect what respect what do you understand by the term respect welcome back my name is Moses to M live from Africa village boy Rabot Kugelo village Migori County allow me to take this moment to welcome you all to my channel again and to say a special thanks for those who have been supporting this amazing channel I'm so grateful I'm so thankful because you have been there for me since day one up to now we are growing day by day and we still hope for the best guys much love to you from the village of africa east africa this is how the village looks like what do you think how do you feel would you love to be in this amazing village one day so cool and over here my dogs man they don't give a chance so i'm trying to walk around i'm going to visit a certain old man over here because the family has been having a very, very uh, story, some of some stories. So I want to go and visit them to see and to say hello to them again. But guys, let me tell you something. I'm feeling so nice being in the village over here. And before I say anything, I want to just to say that we have a word, a verb, or a word that, or a noun that says respect what do you mean by what do i mean by respect respect and discipline and discipline is the core i would like to say that we need to be disciplined at all the, you know i don't know i'm using this path here and i don't know whether it's still active because we used to follow this road back then some years ago this cow is she's struggling it's like she doesn't know me so she jump 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 feeling like there's something there's danger ahead you know yeah so guys i'm walking in this street deep in the village village life and i don't know whether i'll reach that place or i'm lost i'm just walking randomly i don't know how it will be should i ask anyone or should i just continue going because hey mother so yeah, wandalo mangen. Yeah, village life. Guys, today I want to show you something. I want to show you the real arrow roots, how they are, and how they are being grown. So this, I'm passing by this home here. This is the latrine or a toilet. Just in the toilet there. That's the life in the village. How it is and how things work over here. It's so calm and very, very amazing. So I want to find my way onto that to that side, but I don't know which way should I go because it has been long since I was in this place. It has been years and years since I was here. So I'm trying to find my way out. So I'm wondering which way should I go and how will I find my way out? Where am I? Where you? I've just asked those boys and they told me to. Follow this right side here. So I wanna jump using, I wanna pass through this small fence over here. Then I go inside. Guys, this is the life in Africa. I'm passing someone's farm, but I don't know because I don't see any way or any way through over here. So I'm just walking around. But guys, there's something I don't know. You can see what's happening on the cloud. Do you see this line? And what do you think about how do you know it when it's passing? What's the meaning of it? The cloud looks so cool and very, very nice. But I'm wondering about this plane. I remember when we were growing up, we used to call it aeroplane. Of true, it's an aeroplane, but it comes with the smoke. So we used to name it a um, smoke aeroplane. So there, there's a, there's a way here. A small path here. So I'll use this path going to the other end. To survey and to see what's happening and there's a river in between here so i i thought a very nice thought putting on a gumboot was a very very pretty uh, idea for me because this place i couldn't manage without putting on the gumboots it's so kind of rough it's kind of boozy just see the way it is it's kind i don't know what to say all the way plant all this side you see this sugarcane plantation 
and this also sugarcane plantation. And this, this one here is a sisal over here, and the sisal gives the boundary between the different lands. So the owner of this side should not go to the other side's land. So that's the demarcation to differentiate the um, land for different people over here. So that's how it is. Finally, I'm in the river again, man. So this is the river. There's a small river here, but this is a bath park. <laughs> clay bath. No, this is a bath. This is where people take each take bath. This is the bathing center over here. And the other side, we, I used to, we used to have a very nice fish pond on that side. I still remember this village very, very well. That's what do you think about the village life? Ah, oh, I'm feeling so. Nah, let me do away with the, my cape so that I can just walk freely. Yeah, so guys, on the other side, that's where I came from. And I'm heading to this side. So right now, I'm in the center. And that's how the village is, and that's how things are. I wanted to show you the... I wanted you to see, how do we call them? This cow is going to chase away my dog, man. Uh, I, want, I wanted you to see the arrow roots, how they grew, and uh, where they grew. You know, mostly the arrow roots, they used to, they only grew next to the rivers, where there's a river, because it's like they absorb a lot of water, so they need to, they must grow where there's much, much water around. Africa village life, you're just walking. I love this kind of cow, guys. This one's full for milk. Very nice cow and very healthy. If you have it, then you're gonna say that you are very lucky. So that's how the village is. So I'm just showing you the village. A very lazy day today. I just say it, it's a very lazy day since morning because I've not done anything. <laughs> I'm just doing videos. I went to feed my uh, cows and after that. So finally, here. These are the arrow roots. And I want you to see the arrow roots life in the village arrow roots are over here finally from the arrow roots these ones are the arrow roots and if you see or if you if you want to study them very keenly you'll see that they only grew along the river where the water flows each and every moment and this the kind of leaves this the kind of leaves you know i remember one of us just told me and our big supporter over there just told me moses you need now to start planting ca um, the cassavas, you know. And I said, yeah, true, I need to start planting the cassavas. Not only cassavas, but also the, the arrow roots. Because these things are kind of expensive. Just remember, just a root of ease cost, will cost you one, two. A root of it will cost you, it's not 200, it's related with the size. And then there's something over here. This one is used to prefer the water. They used to have the water cure here so once you have collected your water over there you come here and you just drop a slot using this knob but now they, they, they don't work those ones these things were brought by the donor i don't know whose company was they was it us aid or they brought this one and they walked inside the rural the rivers and every place where they were boiled rivers and they inserted this and then uh this where they used to have them that kind of drug that cures water, you know, and um, it's yeah, it's kind of water guard. Yeah, I can say it's water guard. So they have to pour it here, and then they. So when you come, you just give it a, a drop of it. You do this, and it, it drops into your twenty liters, and that's when the water has been treated, and it was now safe. So this the river. These are the kind of rivers you are using in my area, guys. You know, very small rivers. These are the kind of rivers we are using. Like this one, if you if you follow the, the history, you'll find that it has been here for a long time. I remember I was born and we found these kind of rivers here. And let me tell you, they never get dry and they serve the whole community. They are very, very many. They serve the whole, whole community. A lot of people grew up not having the, not having the, how do we call it, not having the balls in their home. And so these are the rivers that they were supposed to come here and sustain them by getting water. I just like the kind of land this place is so fertile, you know. It's next to the river, remember? 
it's so fertile. See the background where I'm coming from. The village life so cool and very very healthy. I'm just feeling good. And if I would like to ask on this video, guys, why do you love being in the village? And what do you think about being in the village? Do you love being in the village? And kindly, if you do, let me know down there in the comments. It's harvesting season and people are going on with the harvesting. Here you can see the maize. People are harvesting. These ones are ready. So they have to cut them down. They give it some minutes. Like me, tomorrow I'm going to do the cutting down of our maize. So that we give it some days. Then we come and harvest it back home. Some people also prefer just harvesting directly when the stem and leaving the stem standing this kind of way. But the best way you may prefer you cut them down this way so that when you harvest them you it's easily to be controlled there these ones are the best manure you know so once you are done it also help us to feed our cows at home like now i've told my brother to go find some to give our cows at home so that's how it is so life in the village sometimes complicated but so nice and easy yeah, you can see the village how it is very cool Hear the sound, guys. These birds, they used to eat fish. And they mostly dwell on flies. They on, mostly also stays next to the water. And that's why you can feel them singing. It's like they are adapted to a lot of water, drinking a lot of water, such things here. So that's, guys, that's how it is. I'm going to end this video right here because... I'm going to begin another video with another story. I don't know if I'll have it here or not, but I'm almost heading to, uh, I'm almost where I was going to. Just up here. I want to go and say hello. I want to go and meet that old man. The boy was uh, found uh, some donations and the fee was paid for the boy. And now there's a story there about the girl also we need to follow up about. That's where I'm heading right now, man. Keep on enjoying this amazing video and much love to you, my beautiful people. Have a nice moment. You know, my dogs are still walking over with me here. They are always with me, not leaving me anyhow. They are ever there with me. So, guys, enjoy this video. Allow me to stop here. Keep on supporting. Subscribe, subscribe, like, like, comment, share, and don't forget to give a like. Goodbye.